you are waiting for the setup. I would like to bring to your attention that the closing ceremony of our conference is the next event on our agenda. It's a moment to come together, reflect on the insights and connections we have made and officially conclude our conference. Do stay on with us, which will commence right after the workshop. Thank you. Sorry, uh, ladies and gentlemen, give me a few minutes. Uh, of course, always technology is not, not always perfect. Okay, um, Like the other um, Prof. Aslam said that uh, human being is always the best. So bear for me a few seconds. Right, teachers, thank you very much for your time. My apologies, as I say, um, technical problem, okay? Um, I would like to um, say good morning. Uh, my name is David Chu, and uh, I'm from University of Tong, Malaysia. I will basically be taking um, the uh, next half of uh, Mr. Keith Tong's um, session in terms of uh, technical uh, proceedings. So. Today I would like to basically share with you uh, the some of the three products that he uh, shared just now. Okay, one is basically called the Indie Central, uh, and after that, then we'll come to the uh, Scholastics uh, Lit Pro, okay, program with the assessment of English comprehension English. Then after that, then the third one will be the EduSync uh, assessment programs uh, for uh, students itself. So if you look at here in today uh, workshop. Uh, I will go very brief because of uh, time, all right? I, I do remember the timing. <laughs> but um, if uh, any questions, you can basically uh, bring up, no problem at all. And um, at the end of this session, like Mr. Kik Tong said, uh, I will, we will provide you the uh, access, okay, to get a trial. Uh, if, let's say, for example, if you want to test it on some of your students, you can do that, or even your fellow teachers also, all right? So, 
For example, here, if you look at here, you see English Central program. Okay. Now, what is English Central? English Central is quickly developed to uh, develop the individual's confidence of uh, speaking English. So the platform, they have thousands of uh, uh, videos, uh, which we work together with uh, YouTube. Uh, the best part is that uh, we have our editorials uh, for people in uh, English Central that obeys and studies the videos. All these videos are very short and very straightforward. The, but the main purpose of this doing this is basically to uh, enhance people's credibility of learning how to speak. So the concept is basically watch the videos, learn the words, and after that then speak. Of course, uh, Mr. Ifi also did highlight Go Live, where you have a, a professional teacher which we uh, hire to basically uh, communicate with the students itself. So for you all who is um, interested in uh, looking at this pro product itself, uh, you can also basically go into the uh, website. It's very simple, EnglishCentral.com, if you can see it here. And of course, those who now who is excited wants to look at it even further, you can also use our mobile apps. You just type it in, uh, in your, uh, what do you call it, uh, if your, uh, what do you call it, um, Google Shops. You can uh, look for English Central and then you can download the apps. Now you can register for free, okay, all right. Um, and uh, you can basically try out the platform, uh, one or two videos inside there. Uh, for me, I will basically sign in. Okay, give me a moment. So, Clicking in, I shall never see this one here. Okay. So, right, <clears throat> you can see here it's um, straight away once, once I key in, it's because uh, I am using a teacher's account. Yes, teachers, we do have a teacher's account and a student account. Now, what the best part of uh, Central is that uh, the uh, teacher's account, you can create your own courses. And of course, uh, deliver this course to your students. Now, what I mentioned just now is you have a mobile apps. So students, wherever they go, uh, they can also basically dwell in the lessons uh, through their mobile apps, where you uh, basically post all the uh, lessons inside there, which I will show you later on. Now, most important thing, I will show you the videos here. Now, the platform, you can see here, we have thousands of videos. And uh, every week, our Editorials will add in the videos, uh, basically update it, and you will get all of this uh, simultaneously in the uh, platform itself when you register inside that. So you can see um, at the top here, you can see that you know, some of the uh, videos, okay, we have new videos, which you can see, okay, and let's say, for example, if let's say for uh, teachers who are interested in uh, businesses, Students who are interested in businesses, they go and dwell into businesses. So we have a lot of the videos uh, that cater to certain uh, titles and topics itself, like businesses, media, social uh, uh, meetings and discussions. And let's say for those who are interested in traveling around the world, also we have uh, uh, videos that could travel. Okay, you have that. So um, you know where you go to other countries, how do you basically uh, communicate with uh, people from overseas? And also we have academics itself. So academics it covers a lot of the uh, areas where you look at it in terms of how you communicate uh, in terms of teachers, students, and all in set. Okay, and of course not only in, uh, in the uh, what do you call it uh, academic side, um, children as young as <clears throat> five years old. Okay, they also can learn from uh, English Central itself. Now, for the platform itself. You can see that um, on the top left hand side here, we have basically all types of level. We have the beginning level, intermediate level, and advanced level. So it all depends on uh, the individuals who would like to start their, their lessons. Uh, they can pick from there, right? And of course, teachers also can basically provide that, uh, that platforms lessons also in that area itself. Uh, let's say, for example, if I go to all, all videos. And uh, let's say, for example, if I want to basically look at some of the videos that I am interested, I can basically uh, pick. Uh, okay, right. Let me try social. <clears throat> you can 
be very uh, interesting. And let's say, for example, I would like to go to advanced level. Okay. And let's say, for example, if I want to look at in terms of uh, some of the videos in down here. Now, each and every one of the videos you can access. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, um, okay, I'll give an example here: rules of eating ramen. So what I do is I click on this. First thing first, or we'll watch the videos. And the most important thing is to eat the ramen while it's hot. Any good ramen shop will serve you a bowl of ramen that's smoking hot, and you need to eat it right away because. So I can stop this video, okay? And let's say, for example, some of the words I don't understand, I can go up to here and click overcooking, and I can learn from that words. Okay, any words also you can. Okay, if you write this one right away. And let's say, for example, if I don't understand how to pronounce that word itself, uh, I can use the uh, er, uh, I, t, uh, u, a. Okay, so you can do that. So it comes with the um, uh, how to call it, uh, answer, uh, how, to call it, how you make that words from the bottom, and of course, to tell you what kind of word it is, it will give you that dictionary in that area itself. So we can continue. The noodles are overcooking. It's a lot like pizza. If you're a real New Yorker, you know that you don't wait till the pizza cools down. You eat it while it's hot, and you. So I can stop. Let's say, for example, I finish all this, okay, the videos. Then after that, then the next stage is I learn the words. So it goes into this area, and let's say, for example, I can basically pick the words from here. And you need to eat it right away because the noodles are overcooking. So I can say, like, uh, type in the words. Let's see now. The words is, um, let's see, uh, so what's, what was it? Let me refresh it. And you need to eat it right away because the noodles are overcooking. So I will type in, right? Uh, let's say if I spell uh, not correct anyway, it will tell you. All right? And I can try it again. So you can see here, what it's doing is, it will basically, uh, once you want to try again, it will clear off the answer. So the system built in that way for the individuals to remember the words, okay, that's very, very important. So English Central design in that way that so that when the person wants to learn, they are focused. So once that's already basically established, then let's say uh, I type in again, Way. All right. So then I learn as I go from there. So this is how basically uh, from watching the videos, you learn the words. Then after that, then the next part is to speak. So I'm going to speak. And I will pick this line and put here. And you need to eat it right away because the noodles are overcooking. Okay, I will click on this one. Uh, okay, there'll be a technical problem because um, if you click on this one, because I think it's because of the, the connection itself anyway, so you can record yourself inside there. All right, okay, so you can pronounce it inside there. Then after that, then uh, you can do a comparison, okay, from the from the video itself. Uh, you can try it afterward. Um, if you all uh, register inside on the apps, you can try it from there. So my apologies if I can't show to you here right now. The next one of course there will be the chat box as uh, what uh, Mr. Keith uh, mentioned just now. Alright, there is uh, Mimi. So Mimi will talk to you. Okay, so it will basically um, explain on the fine lines that you use okay, in that area itself. And you start. And Mimi will ask you a question okay, from there. So this is quite new in that area itself. So uh, there we go. So it will tell you like explain what is the video is about in a few sentences. Uh, give permission. Okay, this one also another technical problem here. My apologies. So you will be able to answer that, okay, and Mimi will reply you from there. Of course, it has to follow according to what Mimi asks you like in that question itself. Like ex 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 uh, please explain what is this video about in a few sentences, and Mimi will communicate you from there until the end. Alright, but my apologies if I can't um, play this one for you. 
So okay, so that is basically how the central work. Of course, uh, we also have course line, all right, okay, in the platform itself, which you can choose. And let's say, for example, if you want to teach uh, in terms of academic, uh, we have uh, basically packaged all this in, uh, in one uh, platform itself, okay. Let's say, for example, academic English, we have all the courses, which you can click on it. And we have all the modules inside there for you to basically um, provide the, the lessons. So you don't have to pick one by one uh, the video, video uh, to teach from there. And on top of it, uh, you, we have the administration. Now, uh, this is basically one of the uh, administration which I uh, we have. So you can create the um, classes. Like for example, here, University of Nottingham. Just recently, they um, Require this for, for a moment to test out the program. So I can see my students here. So I can also even add uh, my teachers. Okay. Uh, I hope there's no Nottingham uh, lecturers here. <laughs> okay. So, so I can see that uh, I can create uh, my teachers and I can put all the classes inside there. I can design how many classes if I wanted to. And of course, I can soon see my students. All right. I can manage my students. And then I can create my curriculum, right? So I can basically, uh, let's say, set the timeline, okay, for one month, if I want to. Uh, let's say edit. So let's say I can do it weekly, I can do it monthly, or I can customize the, 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 the period of time and uh, set the class when you want to start and when you want to end. And I can set how many videos uh, they, they need to watch, learn the words, and speak, and chat with Mimi. At the end of the day, you can look at it at the end. Uh, let me push this one over here. Okay, you can see, okay, a bit, um, you won't be able to see it. You will calculate and tell you how many hours is, um, is possible for, for, the, for the students to finish. So you can uh, exactly calculate that maybe in uh, one uh, month, you, the students will have to spend maybe an hour to finish each of the courses and lessons itself. So another good thing is basically um, you can customize this and you can add in the students' uh, courses. You can basically, let's say for example, save and continue. And you can add all the courses from here, very simple, on the platform, okay? And you can search whatever you want uh, in the videos itself, okay? And what kind of topics that you want to share with the students itself, and then you add it in. And then the students will basically be able to see it on their, on their uh, access account. Now another good part is that let me see, uh, my students have been uh, good lately. Okay, this class they haven't started yet. Okay, they just basically uh, inquire this one. So you will be able to see the progress of the students, okay, in here. Uh, and of course, you also can see uh, their reports uh, in terms of uh, what have they watched videos, and then of course, uh, what uh, have they spoken. All of their recordings will be placed into the platform itself. And you will be able to listen to each and every one of them when they pronounce the words or they, they make their recording in the speech inside there. So, of course, this is basically the English Central lab, all right? Okay. So, um, as I said, you all can try it out, okay? You can register yourself. And then, um, um, you know, you can, you can basically go inside and uh, experience the, the, the platform lab, okay? So, this is English Central. Any questions on this one? No? Right, I will go for the second one. Huh? Okay, so second one is basically called the uh, Scholastic Lib Pro. Of course, uh, what Lib Pro does is it do the um, um, Lexile's uh, assessment, okay, score level, and where uh, students are basically measured by their comprehension English. So let's say, for example, um, students want to take this test, um, they will have an account. I'll put in my white student account. So, okay, they will go into the LibPro um, uh, assessment program. And of course, we also provide the library. There's about 900 over ebooks uh, according to the genre uh, inside there, and it's been leveled by Lexile. So, students usually will go into this platform and click on it. And they will um, basically uh, have their own uh, assessment. Uh, they will have their own reading interests. If, let's say, for example, they want to edit their reading interests, they also can do that. They can pick three types of genre inside there. And this genre, they can change anytime they want. So wherever they change, it's no problem one. 
So if once they change reading and they update their reading list, um, the most important thing is not the genre itself, it's the level of uh, like style. So this one and Susan have done this one. So what they do is basically they want to do the test, they will go to lit pro test, and it will take about um, about 20 to 36 questions on average like, to do the test. So it doesn't matter, you know, if the students uh, what level they are. Usually what we do is we will basically get the forms to the teachers. The teachers will fill it up according to the students' classes. Okay. Then after that, then we will use our benchmark, which will basically um, uh, put them to the, to the level itself. So the students will just basically start. And basically this is the instruction. And they'll read the paragraph itself. So once they read the paragraph, um, then after that, then they will put in, let's say, for example, they are testing and uh, student with this very small, okay, uh, okay, like let me put more to mobile, then I'll go next. And then after that, I will read this article, okay, we have arrived only at 7.30 by 8, kids are already tr trickling on, okay, and so on so forth. It was chaotic, okay, let's say I put that. Now, students can skip the questions if they are not comfortable with that. They only can skip three times. Lah. So then next one, and then so on and so forth, they will answer the question. Now, what happened is, when the students basically answer this question, the background of the platforms, um, the uh, AI will calculate the student's reading uh, time. Okay, And once the student, student read really, and then they answer the right question, the system will uh, generate the next question to be more and more difficult. So let's say, for example, if the students make a lot of mistakes, then of course the system will make the next question a bit more and more simpler. From there onwards, once they did that, that whole entire assessment, the calculation, okay, all right, then the, the, the will, this system will then uh, generate the, the Lexile score for the students. So once that's already finished, okay, uh, let me see if I can try and cheat the one ah. Okay, let's say I simply go and put inside of that. And this, as simple as that. Usually, it will tell me that I have. Okay, that means I must be doing very good. Taking the right answer. So, let's say students does this. At the end of the time, it will stop and tell you the score. Let's see now. Okay. So, as you can see, okay. I think they will be still. I might be doing the right thing anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So you can see that. Congratulations, your students. So it's about four hundred and sixty-nine like so. Then after that, once that's already done, then you create your own reading list. All right. Now, not only creating a reading list, uh, teachers also can basically um, generate the reading list for the student itself. So these are the books that is recommended by the system. And down here, you have the teachers who will assign the books for them. Now, how does it work? I will log out here first. And then I will go into the teacher account. And I can go into the Lit Pro. And inside here, I can see the, my students' proficiency. So just now was my, this is me. Okay, all right. So first test, what test they've done, the next stage, that they can also basically capture. So you'll see a lot of students' uh, um, name here. Okay, and you can see their growth as they go on with the program itself. And of course, the students, when they read, uh, ebooks they will have a quiz and that will be also be captured and one thing good about this report from the teacher itself okay uh, you can see that um, it basically gives you a very very comprehensive report in terms of the Lexile growth okay reading proficiency report uh, book comprehension report what the students read the class Lexile history reports the quizzes that the students have passed and of course, um, so on and so forth, like the quizzes and assignment activities like that. Now, um, as a teacher, you can basically set okay, the uh, lit pro test for students. Let's say, for example, minimum numbers of days between completing tests, you want to, you want to set it for how many days. 
um, limit the reading list to the title to the book quiz also can. Um, test to one person students also can. And of course, um, like book quiz setting, you want to display the incorrect answer for the students. You can also can allow that, you can do that. And also you can set the passing mark for that area as well. So there are a lot of um, the settings which the teachers can basically do that. Now we also have the benchmark for the teachers. Now like so for example here, the benchmark, for example, primary um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and secondary 1, 2, 5. Um, this one is basically overall be uh, able to be seen by all the teachers. Okay, Even though you are you're teaching primary 5 or primary 6, you'll see this. So you can see the level of the benchmark. Okay, Let's say, for example, you want the students to be um, in the right you know, the orange band. Okay, So this one will really tell you where the students are. So as a benchmark, you can basically use this to help the students progress as they go on. And the most important thing is that every student, uh, individuals, you can see inside here, okay, on the left side. Okay, let me see now if I can. Okay, so classes, you can see overall, every student that you want to see, you can also basically see the progress of the students itself. So this is basically very, very useful for teachers who uh, have a very big, class. So when the teachers basically collect this, they will be able to um, monitor and of course basically assist those students who are weak in, uh, let's say for example, uh, reading and of course give them the opportunity basically to read furthermore or according to their level of Lexile like, itself. So those students who are quite uh, high in their Lexile like, scores, they can also basically progress according to their level itself. So this is basically a uh, pro program. All right? uh, any questions? Lit Pro. Okay, right. If not, means that I will go to the uh, next one is um, this one here. Hold on. Uh. So, this is basically um, the um, University of, how do you call it, uh, EduSync. But what happened is basically we uh, can white label the, the platform itself. So, of course, um, EduSync is basically where students can do their test. Uh, for example, uh, IELTS, TOEFLs, um, and TOEX, and OPEX also lah, from that. So let me see if I can click on um, see now. Uh, okay, let me try to get the new students. Okay, students and So in the platform itself for the uh, EduSync, all right, you can see that um, we have a lot of the uh, assessment in the platform here. We have TOEFLs, IELTS, TOEIC, CFR. So let's say, for example, the students want to uh, take only for CFR itself, or an institute want to take a CFR, uh, we will only provide the CFR. The rest, they won't be able to see. In case if the institute is planning to uh, do an assessment on other regions of uh, curriculum, then yes, they will do that. So what happens is basically, of course, just now what uh, Keith mentioned, this Keith mentioned is that um, before they start the uh, assessment, of course, they will have to pick up their identity card to be um, uh, detected for the protocol filtering. And after that, then once they do that uh, and assess the, the whole entire area where it's clear, then they will be able to take the test itself. So the one click, they will go inside here. And of course, they will start the CFR test level test. So we cover reading, listening, speaking, and writing in, in this area itself. So the platforms, if you look at it, uh, they were very simple. Okay. So they will come to this area. Okay. Confirm that before you start the test, you go next. Okay. Then you make sure that you test your audio. Okay. Then you go next. And after that, then you see your microphone is working. And they will tell you basically, you know, what uh, is required if it's not working at all, okay? And then you can basically uh, do the reloading. And once that's already done, okay, you can either basically start from this side, from reading, and of course, this thing, speaking and writing will be there, lah, okay, from there. So you can start the level test. And next level itself, where the instructions will be given to you, okay? So you will have basically give you at least 40 minutes to do the test. And of course, then after that, then once you agree to that, 
and you, you start the test itself. So okay, this one can be uh, in, a, in an institute and can be basically uh, also go uh, in terms of, uh, let's say if the students is back at home, if they want to do this. So they give you the reading test instructions, then after that when they continue, and then this is basically you have to read uh, on the left side here, okay, the platform. And after that, once you finish reading this, okay, then there will be questionnaires uh, presented to you, and then you have to answer from there. And then after that, then once you finish that, okay, then you go next. Then after that, then question two, go from this one, then go from there, then you read from there from onward. So it's basically you basically go on from there. Like this one is for the reading access from there. Okay. So of course you can also do the review if you want to, and you can basically look at what you have uh, basically seen in that area itself. And of course, uh, then you can continue from the from the what lah, area itself. So now let's say I go back to Mr. David. Yes. I have a question. Yeah. It's from the MC this side. Okay. Do we get the scores immediately after the test is done? Yes, correct. Yes, it will. It will basically you will be able to. Uh, get the score once they already uh, done all the assessment all right you will get the score immediately away from that okay all right but um, there there will be um, like for example for the writing one it will basically take about one day or two days because we will have a uh, um, professional uh, uh, call it, lecturers will assess that assessment itself but for reading uh, speaking and uh, uh, write uh, sorry reading listening and uh, Speaking, that will basically another uh, one. Uh, we will get it straight away from there uh, in the area as well. Okay, so this is one of the way how it basically works uh, in, in this way. Okay, all right. Any questions, teachers, lecturers? As I, uh, Mr. Kate mentioned, um, we will get your your contact. Okay, and we will um, provide you the uh, test or the, you know a trial for you all. All right. Okay. And of course, I can come personally to meet up with you all and then basically go through all of each and one of the uh, programs itself. Lah. Okay. So my apologies if the time is uh, uh, limited. I, I wish I could do a longer uh, workshop with you all and a more comprehensive one. But um, as I said, um, it's limited, but I will be around so to basically assist you all. All right. So I think uh, that's my uh, talk for today. I uh, hope to see you all again. And uh, thank you very much uh, for your kind patience. Thank you, Mr. David Chu. We have come to the end of our workshop on professional EdTech ELT learning resources in context, led by our expert, Mr. David Chu. I hope you found this workshop to be a valuable and enriching experience. I'd like to express our gratitude to Mr. David Chu for explaining Lexan and other proficiency tests. I believe the participants are very interested to try out the CEFR level test. We look forward to receiving your email address and free access to the test. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for your attendance and we look forward to your continued engagement in our future sessions. I would like to bring to your attention that the closing ceremony of our conference is the next event on our agenda. It's a moment to come together, reflect on the insights and connections we have made and officially conclude our conference. The closing ceremony will begin shortly. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This is an announcement before the announcements uh, for the housekeeping. Would you, uh, can I kind of implore you to please 